Hey guys, welcome back to Sophia Does It. Again, of course, I'm Sophia. Um, I just wanted to make a really quick video. Turn the voice over off. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to Sophia Does It. I'm Sophia. I um, just wanted to make a really quick video. This month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I decided that I'm going to share a story. So usually, I don't talk about this at all. Didn't talk about it while it was going on, and only a few people know about it. But I figure if I'm able to help anyone, or listening to my story helps you, then I'm, I'm here for it. So this occurred to me back um, right after I lost my sight. Right after I went blind, I was with someone that I thought that I could trust. Turns out I couldn't. Um, he turned out to be um, emotionally and verbally abusive. So nothing physical, but any type of abuse is traumatic. Um, so with this, um, one thing that sticks out is we were at the mall one time. And again, this is when I first went blind before I got any training, before I had a white cane or a Quincy. Um, and we were having an argument and he said, you know what, I should just leave you out here. And at that point, something just clicked in my head that I'll never let anyone have that type of power over me. Um, and, and going forward in our relationship, it just got worse and worse. Um, you know, the, the name calling, the psychological games, all of that, it was just, it was just terrible. After this final event, I um, ended up getting a restraining order and had uh, uh, this lady from my church the next day immediately take me to the courthouse to file um, for divorce. So with that, I attempted to um, remove his name from the lease, um, but they wouldn't do that, so and he, I couldn't get him to resign the lease. So I had to move, me and my kids. Um, what a lot of people don't know during that time is my kids and I were basically home just for like a month and a half living in hotels because I had to find us some place to live. And so with this, it, you know, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. But at the same time, it was a whole lot. It was a whole lot. I had to get myself out of this situation, my children out of this situation, you know, because he thought because I was blind, I didn't have a choice. I had to stay there, that I had to be in this situation with him, enduring all of this. But um, no, uh, so I was able to get out of it and to move on. Um, me and my kids, I got us someplace else to live and he moved away. Um, so we, I never, it never even crossed my mind to go back into that situation. I know some people do, like I said, I'm not, given every bit of information about what happened in it. I just want to share with you that domestic violence can happen with anyone, um, whether you have a disability or not, and probably with people with disabilities, because you might feel like, you know, what are my options? Well, your options is to be free um, and to be happy and away from someone who's abusing you, no matter what type of abuse it is. All right, so that is, like I said, that's my, my story for this month. And, and I hope that, you know, um, you get something out of that. Either way, I always appreciate everyone for looking at my videos and taking that time out. Thank you. And see you next time.